so as well as a lifestyle vlog I am also an art vlog so today I decided to show you my art portfolio uh, basically over the last few years I've gathered a lot of stuff that uh, basically is just my best work so in this and I look forward to sharing it with you so this is my portfolio that I have been working on over the past few years. All of the best stuff goes in here. And let's get to it then, shall we? So there's that. Sorry, the lighting's not that great. Um, that was one of the first bits I did because after uni, I didn't really get much into art again until about a year after. And then we've got these ones where I've literally just used acrylic paint and melted them together with a background and I pretty much just kind of basically experimented with that. So I've got a load of pastel in the background with my acrylic. Yep, there it is. That's just an empty sheet. And then with this one, the acrylic with the newspaper, I was just playing with textures at that point, just to trying to find out what worked best. Then I decided to try just some normal pastel work just to get the muscles rolling. This was a submission for a portrait chair competition. So there's me, my name's Amy Rose, so I've got the flower and I love to read and paint, so I've got those. This was a media study, so I was just studying all of the catwalk designs and trying to create a piece of artwork based on that. This worked really well. But this one, I couldn't quite get the colours that I wanted, but I've learned for that in the future. This one, I decided to try and put paint along and then fold it over just to see what it would come out like. When I teach, they usually like to make butterflies, and so I tried to do something similar, but more kind of adult -y. This one was basically inspired by when I went to a bonfire. So this is literally just paint pastel and charcoal and then we got this one I tried adding more water um, just to create the background and then I did that a few times we've got that here and here as well and then again I did the same design but then I tried playing with the multimedias around it that's charcoal and then that's just the acrylic paint I tried doing the fold over again, but with different colours. Oh, sorry, I'm still recovering from my chest infection. Um, I did a background with pastel and charcoal and then tried the more colours again. This was quite a large study because I was really liking it. So I've got quite a few. This one is oil pastel with this on top. And then that one again was a fold over. I let it all, um, I let it all bleed like this one. But then I folded it over and we've got this one again, just creating designs with the paint and the pastel, kind of making it look more green. And then I used some water to make it look like it bled. And then this is another one. I quite like this one because it bled, bled very nicely. So that was quite good. And then we've got this one. I have a thing for eyes. So... That was quite good. They say that's characteristic of indigo children. I uh, looked that up when I was in school, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, and then this one. So this one, again, as you know, I have a thing for eyes. And then this one, just trying to create something a bit more different and move away from the bleeding that I was doing. And then I couldn't help myself. So... Again, just kind of spacing it out a little bit with some acrylic paint. And again, with the acrylic paint and the bleeding. And now, like, I've got an exhibition soon. So I've been working on architecture drawing. So I've drawn a house. This is done with Pro Markers and Liner. And then I've got this one. This was just kind of liner experimenting with designs on there. This one I'm actually thinking of exhibiting because I really like it. I use the different color pro markers. Whoops. To do that, I create the shades. That was quite good. And then 
the last two so I've got the house and then I tried doing it with the monochrome and then the blue all with pro marker still and then this one so I tried to create an archway and then I thought it'd be cool to add a house on it as well so it creates kind of a weird print design on there so all of these are copyright to myself obviously if you want to share it with your friends or anything just inbox me to get my permission but that is that thank you very much so there we go i hope you liked it um so for more videos i always upload every saturday please click the bell and like and subscribe and i will see you next week bye